Hey, welcome back. And in this episode, we have some interesting ramifications coming from the previous ones. So last episode, we went by 1.4 years versus 0.7 of the episode prior, which uh, requires some considerations when looking at these numbers. But uh, going through them, we have annualized revenues going out from 200 to 316 million. That's an increase of 58%. This is awesome because it ties directly into our strategy of trying to dilute these massive expenses for up to the peak of 24% of revenue invested into R&D and episode 6. That is obviously unsustainable. But when we advance through the numbers, you'll see that advertising, it did a little bit more than double, which you got to take into consideration that time also doubled. But this was a, a dilution of the advertising expenses to 5.2, even though we are spending, relatively speaking, a little bit more, which is definitely necessary, especially in Beijing. As for training, we also managed to dilute from 2.7 to 2.2, and R&D massively by from 15 to 9.6. This all translates into an awesome operating profit, 124 million versus 15 before that. And even if you consider you had to double it, it should be 30, 30 to 124, that is great. And the margins obviously uh, illustrate that, going from 11.4% of revenue to 28.8. That is perfect. Now, non-operating profits has some interesting uh, insights, which is basically, you know, the shares of Ipin Mercados Barcelona, which we are selling because they have seen an incredible valuation. Uh, that's a stock exchange, and look at these numbers. So we sold uh, two, uh, five, sorry, four million shares, and that's about uh, twenty percent of the company. So you can imagine how much that brought in money. If you can't imagine, well, it's, it's, it's reflected in this number, and net profit, of course, is four hundred seventy million. Because not only do we have the income from the profit of the sales of the shares, we also have the valuation of the shares that we still have. So cash went up by 270 million to 349. This is quite the stash. I think we have some pressure to work on this. And uh, the other assets, of course, increases as well. But uh, more importantly, I think I would like to mention that stocks went up by 56 million. These are the shares that are still sitting in our pockets. And the shares that we sold are obviously in the cash and the reduction of debt by 67 million to 55. Uh, we, we cut it by more than half. So when you look at uh, retained earnings, it went up by 40, 443 million. It's almost half of our retained earnings in a single episode over the course of all of these years. <clears throat> uh, but uh, this also means that net debt went down by 338 million. Just to keep in perspective what this means, we actually had a debt of 50 million, a net debt, and now we're in a net cash position of 294 million. That's 349 million of cash minus 55 million in loans. And our LTM EBITDA, of course, went up as well. That means our leverage uh, improved from a 15 times net debt to bid ratio, that's terrible, to minus 3.1. This is net cash position. We have actually quite some pressure to be uh, using the money, that, the money that we have. So this ties into what I think we can uh, explore in this episode. And uh, this also includes other operating effects as well. One of the operating effects as well, continue looking at CPUs, I mean desktop computers. Sales are up, demand is up, supply is not, and it appears to me that CPUs are again a bottleneck issue. And if I go to the factory, just built this guy, training, they're up to level two, almost to level three, but they are not keeping up as well. And when you look at the, the customers, it was actually set up on internal sale. I had to turn this off, but we are not selling to anybody else, which is ideally the case. I would like that to happen. So I think we do have an obligation to increase this capacity, which I'll actually do now. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> duplicate it. Got the CPU purchasing from our source of silicon. Got this three CPU elements. 
I'll have to send them through our warehouse, which is yet to be constructed as so. And I'll bring in the two inputs, the storage and the output. And have them buy from Tachyon CPUs. This is Fab 2. Another thing I'd like to do is I got this named as Tachyon Tech Fab 2. 1, 2, 3. Oops. You can actually give them the same name apparently. Not safe. And then we're going to come down to current city. I think I need to give it a few seconds. One more. There you go. When I, if I take a look at our selling sources, that's 69 bucks. I'll get a slightly different price. Uh, keep it on internal sale because the warehouse is who will have the external sale. So you can bring in the CPUs from Fab 3. Let you cycle a bit. Get you connected, take you off internal sale. And I'll get these products going down in terms of price. The yellow bar is very fat. The quality is 83. Ooh, gotta love that. Quality. This is like the i5s of so the world. And we are the Tech and Tech Warehouse. So the CPU, the computer factory, will purchase from the warehouse. And I think that's the only product that we have that actually consumes CPUs for now. Eventually we'll have more sophisticated products. The uh, camera phone uses CCDs. But okay, so that is one of the steps that I had uh, envisioned for today. And the other one is I think, uh, you know, if I get the CPUs coming in, oop, there they are, finally. Look at that, it's a lack of CPUs. But that should increase our production. Our goals are going down, that's interesting. Um, I was concerned that we may have beaten our uh, series goals just by the valuation of our shares in the Ipiracados Barcelona. But these numbers are suffering from the lack of CPUs that we had previously. But I think I can, I think most likely I'll need to build up a new, new factory for desktop computers. But in the meantime, I could go with uh, laptops. We're, we are already here four months away from tech 50 of notebooks. This will be important for our competitiveness because we already have competitors in this business. But another thing that I, I was thinking here is that when we look at our corporate details for advertising, we are spending 270,000 per product in Beijing. That's times four, because we have four products now. It's over a million. And the number of products tends to increase by at least two for uh, three, actually, for notebooks, tablets, and smartphones. Which takes me to the next point. You know, we're sitting on a pile of cash. We're almost beating our goal so quickly. We have new products coming. I think it's worth doing our fantastic strategy of investing in a TV station. It takes a while. It doesn't need to be there actually. It can be built anywhere. So I think that paying three million for the plot of land is a great idea. You're going to definitely invest into content immediately. And I know my competition is actually selling the advertising for 1.6. Uh, just to, so you know what I'm talking about. Come in here, Link Media, there's a television for 1.6 out of 50 rating. This is definitely better than ours. But uh, we have to have a reference. I think that's a good reference. As soon as these guys start growing, we'll have the opportunity to see uh, when we are gaining attractiveness to the consumer. The consumer being the advertisers, of course. So I'll let that go on for a little while. It's 2.3 minutes, quite quite the budget. I'll let that go on for a while and uh, eventually we'll make the swap. Now, Tachyon TV. That sounds like a great name. 
tech on V. <laughs> but I'll continue with this advertiser. Our products are slowly building brand awareness. Very important for these products that have competition. And I think uh, that is a good, good first step. So now we're down two months to get our notebooks. Let's take a look at our desktop computers. Still lagging in terms of supply versus demand. So, uh, it's hard to say exactly why. These bars are improving, but I think it is the case that you know desktop computers are going to get more and more attractive as I construct the quality. So I will have to increase the production capacity. So it's tech count PCs. A tech count PCs. B. Oops. And I will come in with a warehouse, of course. Give me there. Output. Sorry. You will come in from the not warehouse only. Desktop computers from Tachyon A. Computers from Tachyon B. I'll take you off internal sale. I'll put you on an attractive price of 371. And then A will turn on internal sales, increase the cost, double. Hopefully the computer will eventually swap. There we go. We've got those going. Now we need to make the retailers source the desktop computer from the correct source. So we have a purchasing unit, we in warehouse only, and that's one. Store number two. Go over to Barcelona. All cities. Uh, Barcelona is the one that has a store down here. The same screen. Never catch that. I'll actually shut you off. With your consuming overhead. So let me just check if. Beijing got that going as well. Clear that box. And then of course, Santiago. Thank you to the warehouse. And then you down here to the warehouse as well. And shut you off. Sorry guys, you're fired. Next. Okay. So let's take a look. This factory alone is already doing better. This one is assisting. The warehouse, does it have external clients? Not yet. I'll bring you down. And then this factory, I'll increase the pressure to make serpentine purchase from our warehouse instead. Now I'm gonna take a quick look and see if I managed to make them stop purchasing from our other factories when there's a warehouse available. So printers, that's great. Cell phones. It's still purchasing from here. So I'm going to increase the price again. And they have the option to buy from the warehouse 129. This internal sales always inconsistent. So we have printer tech. This is awesome because this is huge profitability source it's like getting more competitiveness in these products what is my printer I'm going up for a two-year product this time slowly leapfrog competition because when we look at the warehouse come the product we have compass points still producing them 45 quality our factories just got their improved technology they're going to 91 take that and that is extremely, extremely positive to the business. Let me take a quick look here. Uh, desktop computers, they're not getting enough. I'll like to take a look at our CPUs. <clears throat> factory B, I mean factory 3, 0003. It's 
producing has plenty of supply that's good these guys are at level three already so i think i can shut down this half of the training we are going for internal sales at 69 66 these guys are producing and selling only internally but we seem to not have enough output so i'm just gonna guarantee that i have that i don't think that's much of a concern but it is worth noting and it is extremely high quality cpus at 83 a very attractive price i'm not going to double up the inventory because a uh, storage because technology products if you have too much storage it takes longer for the new tech to trickle down into the, the business so i like to have that top-notch quality quicker and what is next okay so laptops are almost coming out smartphones are going to take a long time what are you desktop computer you're wanting my tech it's 92 for 7 million i'm going to minimize that take a look we are going to get 116 in two years it's not much of an advantage this is not worth 7 million i am sorry excellent so we will have notebooks at tech 50 super competitive once that happens in 0.2 month i am going to take a look at the product details and see how far is competition there we go so let's take a look at corporate details actually a uh, product details computer laptop and the ones that are producing are serpentine with 47 quality a production tech of 46 we're actually in the front good so I think I'm going to push for another one year. So we jump another 20 points and you'll slowly have a clear advantage. But for now, I am actually predicting that we'll have a big enough demand to have two factories again, just like desktops. So I am actually going to produce a factory and hook that up to a uh, warehouse. So I'm guessing that this is an okay location. I don't think I'll have a problem with space for R&D, will I? I would rather not have to produce. Uh, far away. So I am actually going to do this. I do know that notebooks have three inputs. To have three manufacturings and three sales. as such and then what are the pro what, what are the inputs tachyon lapion a i am predicting there will be a b i would actually double up on the cpus and the singular ones will be the ccds let me take a quick look. Computer, laptop, notebook, electronic components, and plastic. Okay. So, plastic will have a loan over here. And then over here will be my fantastic electronic components. That's when notebooks perfect to up on training and these guys I think I'm gonna have to crush them down take them off internal sale for now actually no I'm gonna keep that on that remember the status I'm still unsure how that works because it often turns off but I'm gonna set up a warehouse right now input storage and output Tachyon N O Lapion Warehouse got them on sales. Should I get a little bit of profit? I I, I don't know, I guess. And the 
pain point in the whole process. Well, what's the, it just reminds me. How's my news? My, my my TV station going? Ooh, look at that. We've got some demand. We're still at a terrible rating point of 3%. Content is going up slowly. It's cheap. And some local competitors are helping me finance this construction, but I will have to construct a second floor. It won't be easy in the beginning. But hopefully it will uh, in the long run, as soon as we get more products. Smartphones, tablets. Two more products down the road, which is great. Now these guys, let's see, how are our competitors doing? They're stuck 755 for the worst quality. A lot more brand. Okay, that's interesting. I do need to put up advertising, apparently. What I could do is, you know, but nah, I think it's not smart yet. I'm going to go for the same 270. That brand going up. Prices are way better. I mean, how are the locals? 39, 48, already better. 55. I'll put up a little bit more. You know, make a little, make a little bit of money. And I'm going to add the second floor here, or should I not? I mean, I think I'll prioritize setting up the first floor of every city and then go into the second store i think that's smarter one million per one more expensive huh who would have guessed would have thunk it this is the first floor this is the one that has the advertising i am correct go ahead and go with tv what are we spending here 100 perfect getting those laptops Triple down. I'm guessing 570. So 46 quality. I matched them. Perfect as well. Superior quality. Inferior brand. We will get there. As for Santiago, let's go to the first store up here. Add in that extra floor with sales and advertising. We are going to link you to the television as well. And you are at 100. 30. So let's set that up. Purchase those notebooks. Electrical in for a while. We have a mobile phones and camera phones. I'm going to just slow down things a bit because I think it, this does warrant some investigation. So we have mobile phones, small research, right? Three cell research, that's correct. 71 to 79. I actually think this is worth accelerating because when we look at these guys, we have a hundred percent production market share versus you know structured competitors. Quality is still at sixty-seven. We are actually uh, lacking competition. Look here, we can actually go back. We have a hundred brand. That is nice. I can increase prices actually. That's 70, why not? Here I think we are actually pretty fair, surprisingly. Brand is not that great, of course. And 69 versus 52. Let's give Compass Point a little bit more profit here with the sale of our fantastic phones. Now, with this technology going up, without competition, I think it makes sense to actually lose those that one month and a half. So I'm going to say that's eight points. Let's get 19. It's a little bit better, but we'll slowly increase this uh, this range time frame. Continue pushing for those uh, extra profits. We have less uh, pressure to get that done. So this was September 23rd. This is when we discovered the technology and R&D of camera phone. Let's take a look. So we are at 50, not from 70. 
excellent. I think this is another case of zero competition. Let's take a quick look. Factory itself is skyrocketing in production. We hit level two. That's probably why we had this hiccup in the growth again. And let's take a look at cities, prices. We have 35 to 17. It's often that local competition starts to adjust their prices. So I think we're still in good shape here with 35. That's in Beijing. So Barcelona, things are a little bit tighter, but local competition is weaker, that is to be said. Brand is still building up. I think we're okay. And Santiago, we're actually okay as well. Now, we only have sales through our competitors. Why is that? So let's take a look at Santiago. Why are you not selling your... Oh, we are not selling our... Okay. <laughs> All right. so, well, why would I want to sell my products? Does not make any sense, does it? Uh, camera phone. We do not have warehouses, which is a problem, but I'll get to that soon. We should get to that now. The thing is, I mean, come here to Beijing. Look at this factory. You have one single factory producing this product. Awesome product, by the way. Demand is skyrocketing. This will not be enough. You guessed it. We will have to duplicate this. You will have to duplicate it. Another name? Camera. Caesar. Camera. Purchasing, purchasing, all same correct sources. Give it a little bit of trickle down. Get that training going up. There they go. There it comes. Internal sale, yes, please. And we do need the warehouse. I can produce here. This seems more efficient. So we're going to bring in input, input. It makes more sense to put the storage in the middle. I don't know. And the output. Camera phone. Oh, great. I can't read it. This one has demand. This is A. This one does not, this is B, and I will change those names. Come on, don't be, don't exaggerate, you just make it simple, bro. Cam phone. Cam phone, here we go. Of course I got that wrong. Of course I did again. There we go. Here we go. And it will make you super attractive. Two for two. So cam phone B internal sales. Can you decrease this? Cam phone A. We will set you to internal sales, make it expensive, push customers to buy warehouse and then our retailers sorry bro you had to change your source to the warehouse that's one that's two Barcelona that is one that is two And Santiago just hooked up as well as provocating. I was provocative with that question. But there we go. Camera phones are set up. Let's take a look at the pricing because this is not calibrated at all. Okay, that's pretty competitive. I'll give them a little bit more profit. And we'll come down to our store number two. Of course, we do not have this set up. Set that up. Thank you. B3, there we go. 
And let's set you to apply all. And that is the camera phone, which is lacking in that city. But then, of course, we have the notebook. We need to expand to the second store. So we come to, this is the first store, right? Yeah. So this is the second floor. Got that going. It's getting advertised. Can't keep up with the demand. Imagine that. It's the first time laptops are existing. People love them. And it's only available in one store. So we've got to get this going on the second store. With the purchasing sales unit. Coming in from Tachyon to purchase the notebooks from the warehouse. There it goes. Let's get the prices uniformed at. Yeah, well, it had to be 540. And that's Beijing. Now for Barcelona. We've got 402 set up. How's it going? Pretty good, but look at that brand rate. Can't see it's amazing. Their price is at 922. <laughs> Seems like they're going up. Uh, this is Barcelona. Which means our second store is down here. Floor number two coming up. Purchasing a sales unit. You will link up to the notebook for the warehouse. There it goes. We have competition here. No, we do not. So we just like that. That's it's all set up. And Santiago. So store number one has its second floor already. How are we doing? We're losing. Bad. Now we're winning. Trio Unison, they're selling both notebooks. Curious. And now store number two. We come in with the second floor. Our purchasing a sales unit with the link to our notebooks in the warehouse. Get that a little, little bit of time. Oh, where are the profits? With the link, preferably. Matching up those prices. Start to gain share. Pressure competition. Start to win the game. Did that. It's 93%. How's our uh, television station? Can't deny that. Ooh, market share. 6%. Free content 14. Reading of 5. Soon we'll have infinite free advertising. I'll like to take a look at our, our stocks because we have these guys covered slightly. I will sell them at the five percent cash in on that. We have a lump of money just sitting in the boot. How are we doing? CCDs supplies okay apparently. Uh, who uses CCDs? It's the camera phone. CCDs we do have supply. It's good. Of course, the factory A is still selling to external customers. Yes. Try to squeeze them out of this business. I purchase from my warehouse. It's cheaper. It's the same product. What are you doing? I even lost my warehouse. Where'd it go? Right there. Don't go back. Few clients. Nobody. <laughs> Come on, boys. Do something. Okay, uh, how are we doing? Glass supplies okay. We've got inventory. How's our quality of glass? 44. We can improve that. How's our RD? Glass. We have 63. Okay. I'll pick it. Silicon. Another one. 86. A future tech. That seems okay as well. Our factory is okay with demand. We got inventory, it's good. CPUs, we're actually throwing it through a warehouse. Okay, uh, demand is on the limit. I do not want you on internal sale, please. How hard could it be? Uh, okay, your internal sale, your internal sale as well, but their supply and demand is good. I think we can definitely cut down this training. 
And bones, how are we doing? We can definitely cut down this train as well. That makes sense. Are we both on internal sales? We are still selling to external players. <laughs> oh gosh. Warehouse, it's one fourth the price. One guy switched over. Congratulations, you're smart. Okay, we'll get there. Printers. Don't need training, man. That's good. Oh, we, we have enough output. We do. I need to standardize these uh, formations here. But good. It's going. Do you have any external customers? No. Factories? No. So we're just people don't want to know about our printer. There it is. Compass point. Super team wants to buy from Compass Point. I mean, why? We sell for more expensive. Quality superior. Oh, look at that. Take that boy. So in 16 years, you beat that 1 billion mark. That is excellent. But just before we just take a look at that, I'll just like to ponder a little bit about this. Uh, what's going on? Why do they prefer selling Compass Point printers? They have more brand, they have almost equally less quality, less price. This balance here is not really working out in their favor. Look, this brand has a 27% concern, quality has 37. So they have to make up for this uh, ga gapping ratio. You no, know, brand is worth less than quality. So they actually had to make up for it in price. And that is why they are losing money, you guys. Should be selling my printers. But I'm fine with that. Oh, let's take a look at camp. I want to take a look at electron components. This is surprisingly self-sufficient. One single factory producing for the entire world. I think that's quite impressive. I would have better that that was you no know, on the limit. Laptops, only myself. Oh, we have some external clients. That's good. Two of them. So I think I'll actually uh, just guarantee that I have enough output. We do not have enough production, though. That is something that may be uh, an issue. We did not, unfortunately, play with the new products of tablets, smartphones. We're still far away. It's 55 months. Tablets, sixty the smartphones it would have been super fun, despite the fact that we, you know, beat the game before that. What, what can you say? It's, can't complain about being a billionaire, and uh, that is excellent. So, taking a quick look at the corporate de uh, details. I mean, actually, the corporate summary. We are leaders in cash, of course. We're sitting on the dough. Revenue is up to half a billion. That's quite good, even though we're only halfway through towards the leader of just eternal motion. What does eternal motion do? I got I got to see this. Sorry, products, production, and retail. Where are they making the big money? They're everywhere. But what is the fifty-one with wine? That's a fun product. Sweaters. Refrigerators, I love electronics, super fun. Drugs is also fun. Do they have drugs? Cough syrup, apparently not. They have chemical minerals, one step towards that. Air conditioner is surprisingly low, maybe it's a new product. But along with air conditioners and refrigerators, you also have things like washing machines. Surprisingly low as well. Why are they so successful? Refrigerators specifically. Yeah, okay. So they have sofas. They probably have bed. They have bed. This. They're making a loss there. Blazers. Okay. Super fun products. I mean, congratulations, Eternal Motion. Look at those look at those graphs. That is sensational. Perfect. That is a sound company. 
But let's talk about another sound company, Tachyon Tech. So revenue, we had a good sequence of the past three years. But also in our history, we're almost back to our peak. That is great. I'm actually, I think we actually beat that point because in our corporate summary, it's 517 million. That means we are here at the top of our game. Expenses most likely as well, but operating profit well before we are already above our records. Net profit is pretty good. I'm doubting this number here, but uh, net worth is increasing. And as for chart number two, cash going up very good. Resources as well. Inventory, uh, it's not so exciting, but I did build a lot of warehouses necessary for our uh, maximization of throughput. Business assets went through the roof, most likely those shares. Uh, total debt going down. Advertising going up, that's interesting. Training as well, can't complain. I want to take a quick look about own stocks. So even Recados, 271 million with only 20%. That means their shares are going up again, 67. That's pretty good. So I will likely be able to extract oh, 4 million times 70 bucks. I'm not doing a live math that always works out badly. This is the balance sheet. This is the income statement. Uh, let's take a look at the balance sheet. So if we look at cash, of course, with the 300 million, we take a look at our previous numbers. This was uh, 349. So we did consume some. Of course, we did build a new TV station. This is something to keep in mind. We invested a lot of money in that TV station. We did not reap the rewards. So if we were to extend this game for another two episodes, I am betting that the numbers profit would be explosive. Put aside, let's take a look at stocks. Uh, 27.1 million, oh yeah, we yeah, had some sales of stocks, so this is really that relevant. Loans down to five, that's great. A billion in return earnings, that explains our a billion in overall net worth. Income statement, this is where things get a little bit interesting. So as for the last year, it's a good point of reference. Operating revenue to 430 in the past 12 months. This is versus our 316. That's a very healthy 30% increase. Uh, advertising, training, R&D, these are all stable. As for the operating profit, 92 million and net profit, negative. I wonder what this means. But I do know that we have the goals set. Most likely our, our recent construction of uh, those uh, Magics, you saw me do them, and that is that. I am very happy with these uh, details. Take a quick look at technology with tech over 30, just for reference. So, we did not reach 100 tech in anything here. Are we on the right company? Don't we? Have, oh, we we're going towards 100. Printer went down because of natural decay. That's that's fair. We're actually under 100. That's very interesting. Very hard to keep up with tech. Advertising, of course, went up drastically. We have another product, another 27,000 in Beijing. That's fortune, so our TV station would definitely be interesting to, to, to see what would happen. As for our dominance, we did second. That's interesting. That's actually surprising. As for the product category, I think it's a little bit more tangible. We have communication devices, camera phones, and mobile phones, of course, first. So whole category first. We dominated computers because we reached second with the 20% market share notebooks. Still a long way to go here, but I think we would reach first. We have better tech. I mean, yeah, slightly better tech and on our road towards a much better tech. But of course, printer and desktops dominating everything, and that brings us to these rankings. Number one, cash. Okay, here's operation. Duh, and no other first. We have a second in 
margin, third in operating profit margin. I think this is actually more reasonable than the number we've seen before. Well, that is good. Mercado Stachion is something that's just nice to see because, you know, they were born from our creation. It's a company of 400 million in revenue, 65 in net profit, 70 in operating profit. Those charts going up since its inception or well, conception as we spun the business off and the revenues, the operating profits and the net worth and net profits. Good, let's take a look at persons. Uh, we actually have low cash, of course, never pay dividends. We have a lot of added stocks and total wealth, but we are losing to Serpentine. And that's it. Congratulations, Jun Long. And the billionaires, local billionaires, no one's a billionaire. Curious. And as for cities, just take a quick look at Beijing, the overall oh, wages. It's up to 58, that's surprising. And the other two is theoretically that's 70. Very, very good. And this is the stock market. So just before we go, I'd like to end this series with, of course, a final message from a sponsor that you know who it is. Hey.